every image you've seen from Hubble, imagine making it 100 times bigger. So W first is, is more like a wide angle lens, and JWST is much more like a telephoto or a zoom lens. W first will map the invisible universe with a technique known as gravitational lensing. So by looking at distant galaxies that we can see, that we can observe, we'll be able to measure the, the tiny distortions of those galaxies caused by the gravitational field of everything between us and them. 2027 is going to be the year that will be finally putting an end to questions like Did the Big Bang really happen? Does the universe truly belong to a god? Is there anything like the multiverse or the universe we know and think that we are in is all that exists out there? We might even be able to answer the scary questions like Are there aliens in this universe or are we all alone? But how will this be possible? This and many other questions will be answered in this video. Stay tuned until the end to find out what is all of this about. Recent reports have revealed that NASA, in collaboration with SpaceX and Elon Musk, has been secretly developing a telescope that is 100 times more powerful than the James Webb Space Telescope. JWST is supposed to be one of the most advanced space observatories ever built by mankind yet, and it is set to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. One of its primary objectives is to observe the very first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. These galaxies are thought to have formed just a few hundred million years after the birth of the universe, and they hold valuable clues to the early evolution of our cosmos. It has the ability to, technically speaking, see through time. But with all the reports and news it's been revealed that this new Roman Space Telescope will be much more powerful than JWST and will be able to see way more further in our universe and essentially unlocking more mysteries about our universe. But this project which was rejected twice by the Trump administration has finally received funding and approval from the US Congress. And it goes by the name of the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. According to reports, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is expected to be 200 times more powerful than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. And if that's not impressive enough for you, you will be amazed by how this new telescope can capture an image that took the Hubble three years to capture, in just 90 minutes. But what's the full story behind this secret project? And how can it change the way we view the universe forever? In 2013, NASA showcased the design of this incredible telescope. However, scientists all around the world were concerned that this technology might prove Einstein's theory of relativity wrong. The discoveries made possible by this telescope would be so mind-blowing that they could completely shatter our modern theories and force us to start from scratch. But before any of this could happen, tragedy struck. When NASA presented the Trump administration with the proposal for this telescope, they got outright rejected on two separate occasions, forcing them to put the entire project on hold for several years. The reason behind the rejection of this project was pretty straightforward, budget. But when the Trump administration rejected this proposal, NASA went straight to the US Congress, which found this project so overwhelmingly promising that not only did they approve it, but they also ended up increasing NASA's budget by 8%. Although this may not seem like much, but even an 8% increase in revenue means millions of dollars. So, what's so special about the technology being used inside this telescope? The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope contains two separate instruments the Wide Field Instrument, and the Coronagraph. The Wide Field Instrument is a wide-angle lens that can cover a wide field of view, which is why this new telescope can capture the same image in just 90 minutes, which Hubble took three years. It will measure light from a billion galaxies over the course of the mission lifetime. It will perform a micro-lensing survey of the inner Milky Way to find 2,600 exoplanets. This instrument would be able to detect light coming from over 13 billion light-years away, which could once and for all answer the question, did the Big Bang really happen, or is it all a lie? The coronagraph, on the other hand, works to artificially dim the lights of stars in a different galaxy to study its exoplanets and figure out whether there is any potential for life. This will help us answer questions about alien life in distant galaxies. Initially, the name of this telescope was going to be W First, or the Wide Field Infrared Telescope. But after the death of Nancy Grace Roman in 2018, the first female scientist at NASA, the space agency decided to honor her memory by naming the telescope after her. And why not? She made a lot of contributions to NASA and being the first female scientist of NASA, 
she paved the way for more female scientists. But, what does it have to do with Elon Musk? Well you see, if NASA uses its own rocket to launch this telescope, it would cost them around 138,000 US dollars and it if it were to fail there goes all that money in the drain. However, if they use SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which can be brought back to Earth and can also be used multiple times, the fear of it being failed goes quite low. And with this it would only cost them around 24,000 US dollars, which is around six times cheaper. Additionally, this rocket has the highest power out of all the rockets that have ever been sent into orbit allowing it to travel farther and more quickly and make it to its destination much faster than before. It has 27 engines which makes it capable of carrying more than 140,000 pounds into space. Now, let's talk about the potential impact of the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. This incredible piece of technology has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. As I mentioned earlier, the telescope's ability to detect light from over 13 billion light years away could help us answer some of the biggest questions in astrophysics, such as whether the Big Bang really happened. But that's not all. The telescope's coronagraph could help us identify exoplanets and search for signs of life in distant galaxies. This could completely change our understanding of our place in the universe and whether we are alone in it. The technology used in the telescope could also have implications for other areas of science. For example, the telescope's wide-field instrument could help us study dark matter and test Einstein's theory of relativity. It's no wonder that scientists all around the world are eagerly waiting for the telescope to launch. And with SpaceX's Falcon Heavy set to carry the telescope into space, it's sure to be a historic moment in space exploration. In conclusion, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is an incredible piece of technology that has the potential to change our understanding of the universe forever. From searching for exoplanets to studying dark matter, this telescope could help us answer some of the biggest questions in astrophysics. And with the help of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, it's set to launch between October 2026 and May 2027, making it a historic moment in space exploration. So stay tuned for updates on this exciting project. What do you think about this project? Will it surpass James Webb Space Telescope and unlock further mysteries about our universe and even cosmos that JWST have not been able to? New research conducted by scientists from NASA and Japan's Osaka University suggests that rogue planets, or worlds that drift through space untethered to a star, significantly outnumber planets that orbit stars. The results indicate that NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope could find a staggering 400 Earth mass rogue worlds. Indeed, this new study has already identified one such candidate. David Bennett, a senior research scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, and a co-author of two papers describing the results, stated, We estimate that our galaxy is home to 20 times more rogue planets than stars, trillions of worlds wandering alone. This is the first measurement of the number of rogue planets in the galaxy that is sensitive to planets less massive than Earth. In only a few decades, we've gone from wondering whether the worlds in our solar system are alone in the cosmos to discovering more than 5,300 planets outside our solar system. The vast majority of these newfound worlds are either huge, extremely close to their host star, or both. By contrast, the team's results suggest that rogue planets tend to be on the petite side. We found that Earth-sized rogues are more common than more massive ones, Sumi said. The difference in starbound and free-floating planets' average masses holds a key to understanding planetary formation mechanisms. Previous best estimates, based on planets found orbiting stars, suggested Roman would spot 50 terrestrial mass rogue worlds. These new results suggest it could actually find about 400, though we'll have to wait until Roman begins scanning the skies to make more certain predictions. Let us know in the comments down below. As always thanks for watching our video. See you in the next one.